of WFCA's Faith in Sports. I'm Chris Schneider. Welcome to the DFW Fellowship of Christian Athletes weekly radio show, Faith in Sports. Brought to you by the DFW FCA Business Community Luncheon. It features speakers Lou Holtz, Gene Stallings, and Grant Taft at the Fort Worth Club May the 12th. Hockey playoffs are getting underway all over the country this week on all different levels, so we will focus a bit on hockey today. Our special guest is Allen American star Gary Steffes. Gary played for Team USA in the Under-18 World Championships in Czechoslovakia. He played for a national championship in college, and he now plays pro hockey, and he spends his time in the offseason working for the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, reaching people for Christ. I, at the end of my junior year, I gave my life to Christ, and, and then I got involved with FCA hockey uh, in my senior season, and it started serving with them in the summer, and and uh, and then, you know, that eventually led to kind of going as an intern for a summer, and then it led to going on staff with them, and, and now I've been on staff for the last five years or so, and, and I've just fallen in love with the work that we get to do. I love it. More from pro hockey player Gary Steffes momentarily. We have a real treat for you later on in the show. Our DFW FCA 50th anniversary classic moment this week comes from a man known as Mr. Cowboy. That's right, Mr. Bob Lilly. From that point on, even though I'm like most people, I probably strayed here and there a little bit, especially when I went off to college and early in my career, but I never, ever lost my way with the Lord. I prayed almost daily. I read the Bible sparingly, but I read it. More from Mr. Cowboy, Bob Lilly, coming up in the classic moment later in this half hour. Also joining us on the show today is a great friend of DFWFCA, Colleyville Heritage football coach Joe Willis. Ryan Young here is, uh, has, has been a, a guy that's led me in, in getting to know what FCA can do for kids. And, and you know, I've always uh, been around FCA programs uh, throughout my career, but but here, this one's really unique in that uh, Coach Young gets to be around the kids and, and really guide them and, and, and help them grow in, 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 in their character and, you know, in wisdom. And, and this has been a great experience for me. More from Colleyville Heritage football coach Joe Willis, a good friend of the DFWFCA, coming up in just a few minutes. If you're a baseball fan, we got something special for you. Join us for an FCA night at the ballpark. Saturday, May 21st at Dr. Pepper Stadium. All you can eat tickets are just 25 bucks. Get all the details on this great night at the ballpark at dfwfca.org. Our special guest on DFWFCA's Faith in Sports this week is a pro hockey player, Allen American Center Gary Steffes. Gary played for a national championship at Miami University, played for Team USA in the 18 and under world championships, set the all-time single-season scoring record for the Allen Americans, made the all-rookie CHL team. Gary, thank you for taking the time to join us here on Faith in Sports, especially since your team is in the playoffs now. Uh, that had to be quite a thrill for you playing for Team USA and representing your country back in the World Championships. Yeah, we were in uh, we were in Breklav, Breklav, Czech Republic, and Piastani, Slovakia. It was an experience for sure. I mean, I could talk about that for a long time. It was it was pretty cool. I mean, anytime you get to represent your country, it's like just the feeling and the excitement and the honor that that is. It's it's pretty cool. Yeah, being on Team USA. On top of that, you make the CHL All Rookie Team, and you took the title of Allen Americans All Time Single Season Goal Leader. So, what has been the biggest thrill in your career so far? That's a good question. You know, I, I I'm very grateful for, uh, for indeed for you know for some of the accomplishments the Lord's blessed me to have. But I would say there's two that come to my mind. First one that comes to my mind, I got to play in. Um, in the national championship game my junior year of college uh, we were in washington dc playing against boston university in in uh, march 2009 and it was an absolute exhilarating game probably one of the funnest games i've ever played and, and then last year our team here went uh we went into the finals and we went to game seven of the final round like the last of the last possible game we could play do or die and and uh the the allen event center was completely sold out and um like that that was pretty amazing like so those two events national title game game seven last season and getting to be a part of those would probably be atop my list you feel like the lord has uh has blessed you ordained you to do what you're doing right now oh there's no question there's no question i mean god's grace and god's blessings like i could i could tell you story after story after story of just how 
um, how the Lord impacting my life and the, and the change that He's brought about in my life and the blessings that He's brought and the things that He's taught me and uh, like just the, the work that He's done in my heart and, and, and in my mind to, and inspiring confidence and, and helping me learn to handle different situations in different ways and the peace that He's brought about and the, and the, the encouragement and the, the excellence that He's driven into my heart and the love that just drives me now. Um, it's brought my game to a new level. It's brought it's brought my confidence to a new level. It's brought my um, it's brought my I think my ability to lead to a new level. It's brought it's, it's brought everything to a new level. So there's no question I would attribute uh, I would attribute my, my my you know my career, especially as a pro athlete moving forward, you know, um, to what God's done in my life. Or at least I'm becoming aware of it now that I've become a pro. You know. Yeah, absolutely. Another honor. You've been uh, named a CHL Man of the Year finalist for your work with the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, and that's another huge honor. That's another huge honor, no question, right? And uh, I definitely think, for me, one of the things that drives me and, and reasons that I still play and want to keep playing is is I really believe that the Lord has gifted me in such a way um, that that to leave it to leave a legacy to leave an impact and you know one day um, when I'm done playing I want to be able to look back and you know more than points more than than successes and accomplishments and accolades and awards um, I want to know that I I left a major legacy and a major impact on people's lives and so it's extremely encouraging you know when you get awards like that that you're using your your, your gifts and your talents in this platform in a way that is, you know, leaving a legacy in people's lives. And, uh, and ultimately, you know, hockey's my tool to be able to do that. That is Allen American's all-time single-season scoring champion, Gary Steffes. And we'll hear more from Gary in just a couple of minutes. Later in the show, we will get our 50th anniversary classic moment from one of the greatest Dallas Cowboys of all time, Mr. Cowboy, Bob Lilly. And we would love to connect with you. You can find us on Facebook at DFWFCA, and you can find us on Twitter at FCA DFW. This is the DFW Fellowship of Christian Athletes weekly radio show, Faith in Sports, sponsored by the DFWFCA Business Community Luncheon. It's coming up May 12th at the Fort Worth Club, featuring Lou Holtz, Gene Stallings, and Grant Tech. Did you know that after a trip to an FCA sports camp in Estes Park, Colorado in 1962, Dallas Cowboys coach Tom Landry felt inspired to use his position as a coach to influence young student athletes. So in 1966, 50 years ago, Coach Landry helped launch the Fellowship of Christian Athletes in Dallas. Hi, I'm Rick Bowles, North Texas Director for the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, and I'd like to ask you to tell us your FCA story. What impact did FCA have or is currently having on your life? Visit dfwfca.org for more information. Make plans to have lunch with three of the greatest college football coaches of all time. Join us for the DFWFCA Business Community Luncheon on May 12th at the Fort Worth Club. Baylor coaching legend Grant Taft will be holding court with Lou Holtz and Gene Stallings. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. We'll have Lou Holtz, we'll have Coach Stallings and myself. And I have two books that I've written called uh, Grant Taft with the Master Coaches. So we're going to use that format. I'll uh, interview those two great coaches i'm sure there will be no yarns told that day (laughs) we'll see (laughs) go to dfwfca.org to make your reservations for the dfwfca business community luncheon with grant taft lou holtz and gene stallings may 12th at the fort worth club presented by borland wall and wetzel law offices comerica bank and the summit alliance company make it a legendary lunch may 12th with taft holtz and stallings and dfwfca look forward to see you. I'm Chris Schneider. Welcome back to DFWFCA's Faith in Sports, brought to you by the DFWFCA Business Community Luncheon. It's going to be at the Fort Worth Club May the 12th, featuring speakers Lou Holtz, Gene Stallings, and Grant Taff live and in person. Now, we'll continue our conversation with pro hockey star Gary Steffes momentarily. Also coming up shortly, our DFWFCA 50th anniversary classic moment. That will come from a legendary Dallas Cowboy, in fact, the guy known Known as Mr. Cowboy Bob Lilly. They had a couple that were up there giving their testimony, and and it just brought back all the memories and all the closeness that I had had at one time with with the Lord. Anyway, it touched my heart. I cried and cried. 
that very night, I either had a dream or had an experience with Jesus. And, uh, but he talked to me. More from Cowboy great Bob Lilly in just a couple of minutes. Also coming up, we'll hear from a wonderful friend of the DFWFCA, Colleyville Heritage football coach Joe Willis. You know, we know as adults, you know, that's that's the majority of our lives is, is spent in, in trying to grow spiritually and trying to, to find out who we are. And kids today sometimes are taught, you know, that there's just a process that you go through and, and they never really think about, you know, the deep spiritual effects of, of what it means to, you know, to sit and, and reflect on who they are and, you know, what, what God's plan is for them. You know, a lot of times they, they don't even know that God has a plan for them. So this this gives them a good opportunity to, to, to get in here and sit together and share openly and, and grow up. And mature and, and think about some things they're going to think about as adults. Colleyville Heritage football coach Joe Willis coming up in just a couple of minutes. Heads up to all coaches. FCA has something special just for you. The Coaches Enrichment Camp that is coming up July 7th through the 10th held at a wonderful resort and spa and it is open to all Texas coaches married or single. It's always a great time and we would love to see you there. You can get all the information at DFW WFCA.org. Since the hockey playoffs on all different levels have started all across North America this week, we're focusing on hockey here on Faith and Sports. Our special guest today is pro hockey player Gary Steffes of the Allen Americans. Gary played for a national championship in college, played for Team USA in the World Championships, set the all-time single-season scoring record for the Allen Americans. So, Gary, thank you so much for sticking around, especially since your team is one of those teams in the hockey playoffs this week. Now, uh, you have a pretty unique career going. You play professional hockey, and then in the offseason, you serve in the ministry with the uh, Fellowship of Christian Athletes. How did you get involved with FCA? Yeah, so, so FCA, that began, that began my senior year of college. Um, after I gave my life to the Lord in my junior year, I, at the end of my junior year, I gave my life to Christ, and, and then I got involved with FCA hockey uh, in my senior season and, and started serving with them in the summer. And, and, uh, and then, you know, that eventually led to kind of going as an intern for a summer, and then it led to going on staff with them. And, and now I've been on staff for the last five years or so, and, and I've just fallen in love with the work that we get to do. I love it. It's an honor to serve alongside the guys I get to serve alongside. And like just some amazing men of God, men who love hockey, men who love Jesus, men who are great family men. And, uh, and then you know, just getting to do this, I have the best job in the world. I get to I get to to, to work with FCA in the off season, and then play play this game during the season, and travel all over the country and the world just to tell kids about Jesus and be able to coach them and teach them about hockey. I feel incredibly blessed and incredibly thankful, and and uh, it really brings a lot of my passions together to be able to do that and make the most of the time I have here. Now you mentioned that you got saved in your junior year in college. How did that happen? How did it come about? Yeah, thanks for asking. It's good. So I grew up in a um, in a in a Catholic home and um, had amazing parents, awesome parents, very very strong morals. Like was taught right and wrong. My mom and dad were great. They 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 were super supportive. They were absolutely. So I grew up in a great home, um, but we didn't have a Bible in the house. We uh, God really was not a part of my life. Um, I would, you know, we have strong Catholic roots, but we would really only go to church on Christmas and Easter. And, and for me, you know, hockey was everything. Hockey was life. If I did good, I was happy. If I didn't, I was miserable. I lived and breathed by what my coaches said, what my teammates said, where I stood on the depth chart, and um, my worth and my value and my significance. Everything was tied to where I stood um, in the hockey world and in people's eyes. And um, and then, you know, my uh, my my sophomore year of college, I was at Miami University in Ohio, and and uh, hockey got taken from me. And uh, for a guy whose worth and value is tied to where you stack up on the depth chart, and you become the very bottom of that depth chart uh, for multiple weeks in a row, it was like ripping my heart out of me. And um, and so I felt like a zero. I felt worthless. I felt insignificant and un- like with no value. Um, so much so that. My parents at one point were, were two and a half hours into a trip to see me, and I was so devastated by it that I actually pleaded with them to turn around and go home because I just couldn't stand to see them. And, uh, and anyways, that really you know, just led me to, to hitting a really low point in my life. And, and, uh, and for the first time in my life, I cried out to the Lord, and I didn't know who Jesus was really. I believed God was real. Uh, because of what kind of my upbringing with stuff, and I cried out to him like, with my whole entire heart, like, God, help me 
please. And, uh, and there's no question, like, there was this amazing piece that came over me that was just inexpressible, inexplainable. I fell asleep so fast that night. I can still see it to this day. And uh, it has started a whole new path for me. Um, I believe, uh, I believe, you know, like, the Lord really answered. And he listened, and he, he blessed me, and he, and he he sent some people into my life to help me start walking a new path. And, and, uh, and this guy came into my life. He's a leadership counselor. started teaching me that there's more to life than hockey. And I owe very, very much to this man taking me under his wing. And, um, and eventually that kind of road, about eight months later, led me to the Athletes in Action meeting uh, in Psychology Room 125, March 2009. And they <laughs> told me about Jesus, man, how I can have a relationship with God and be completely forgiven, wash completely new because Christ hung on a cross and he, and he bore our sin. And he rose from the grave, conquering Satan, sin, death, the wrath of God. And it's not by works, it's through faith in Christ that I get to have a relationship with Jesus and wash clean and made new. And and, uh, and I jumped two feet in. That was in March 2009. And, uh, and that was my turning point in my life. That is Allen American hockey star Gary Steffes, a former member of Team USA in the Under-18 World Championships. Thank you so much, Gary. We appreciate your time. Coming up next, we will hear from a wonderful friend of the DFWFCA, Colleyville Heritage football coach Joe Willis. We'll also get our DFWFCA 50th anniversary classic moment from the man known as Mr. Cowboy. That's right, Bob Lilly. The DFWFCA Sports Leadership Camp is coming up. It'll be at DBU June the 28th through July 1st. This is for high school students. Go to dfwfca.org and get all the information and find out how you can get all the latest news delivered straight to your email. This is the DFW Fellowship of Christian Athletes Weekly Radio Show, Faith in Sports, brought to you by the DFWFCA Business Community Luncheon, featuring speakers Lou Holtz, Gene Stallings, and Grant Taft at the Fort Worth Club, May 12th. In 1966, Coach Tom Landry had the inspiration to start the Fellowship of Christian Athletes in Dallas. This year, Dallas-Fort Worth FCA is celebrating God's amazing impact on coaches and athletes during our 50th anniversary. Over 16,000 students and athletes are involved with FCA in North Texas. Nearly 500 coaches and teachers volunteer their time to influence student athletes. Visit dfwfca.org for more information, including how you can pick up some one-of-a-kind 50th anniversary products like caps, shirts, coffee mugs, and more. Situated on 330 acres of beautiful natural landscape with facilities to accommodate groups up to 1,000, Lakeview Camp and Retreat Center is the ideal place to schedule your next event. Whatever your group's goals are, Lakeview aims to meet your needs, providing year-round service facilities for retreats, conferences, camps, corporate meetings, outdoor education outings, school events, and family gatherings. Our friendly staff is committed to making your stay a great experience. Come to Lakeview Camp and Retreat Center and enjoy state-of-the-art facilities, activities that engage and rejuvenate, comfortable lodging, and great food in a setting that inspires the awe of the greatness of God. To learn more about this scenic location for your next event, visit us online today. For more information, visit lakeviewcamp.net. I'm Chris Schneider. Welcome back to DFWFCA's Faith in Sports, sponsored by the DFWFCA Business Community Luncheon that will feature live and in person Lou Holtz, Gene Stallings, and Grant Taft telling some great stories. It's going to be May 12th at the Fort Worth Club. Be sure to join us. We will have our DFWFCA 50th Anniversary Classic Moment coming right up with Mr. Cowboy Bob Lilly. Attention business owners who are friends of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes athletes want to let you know that you can save money and support fca at the same time learn how what your business does every day can help support dfwfca just go to dfwfca.org and get all the details joining us here on faith in sports now is a great friend of the dfwfca and the man responsible for hundreds and hundreds of high school students getting the opportunity to hear the message of christ Colleyville Heritage football coach Joe Willis. Coach, thank you so much for taking the time to join us here on Faith in Sports. So tell us, how did your coaching career get started? Well, it, about 23 years ago, you know, I got into coaching. A superintendent uh, at, a, at a school was my high school principal, and he called me and needed a, a coach on his staff. So 
uh, I took the job and been there ever since. Like uh, a calling in your life, huh? You know, in a lot of ways, yes. I mean, it was something that I hadn't really spent a lot of time thinking about. Um, you know, I didn't grow up in an environment where uh, we had coaches stay very long. So uh, we, we didn't have a, a, a great, successful high school program. It was always a passion of mine to create that. And uh, when I got the opportunity, it stuck. So how did you get involved with FCA? Well, you know, uh, my uh, Ryan Young here is, uh, has, has been a, a guy that's led me in, in getting to know what FCA can do for kids. And, and you know, I've always uh, been around FCA programs uh, throughout my career. But, but here, this one's really unique in that uh, Coach Young gets to be around the kids and, and really guide them and, and, and help them grow in, 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 in their character and, you know, in wisdom. And, and this has been a great experience for me. What does FCA do for the, uh, for the young kids? Well, you know, we talk about uh, growing up mind, body, and soul. And this gives them an avenue to, to really, you know, reflect on themselves and their souls and their spirits and, and who, they, who they really are. And uh, so that gives our kids an opportunity to think more than just the physical, more than just the classroom and the mental part of it, but, but think about something uh, beyond that. Why do kids need this message today? Is it important for them to hear? Oh, it absolutely is because, you know, we know as adults, you know, that's, that's the majority of our lives is, is spent in, in trying to grow spiritually and trying to, to find out who we are. And kids today sometimes are taught, you know, that there's just a process that you go through and, and they never really think about, you know, the deep spiritual effects of, of what it means to, you know, to sit and, and reflect on who they are and, you know, what, what God's plan is for them. You know, a lot of times they, they don't even know that God has a plan for them. So this, this gives them a good opportunity to, to, to get in here and sit together and share openly and, and grow up and mature and, and think about some things they're going to think about as adults. And how do you introduce FCA huddles to kids, to your students? How do you go about letting them know about it? Well, you know, we'll, we'll make announcements that, uh, you know, there'll be some opportunities, you know, to, to go in with Coach Young and, and sit and visit and, and get together. But basically that's, that's really it. I, you know, I think it's a, a program that has its own draw to it, you know, and so we don't have to do a lot of advertising. You know, the fact of the matter is kids want this, you know, and kids need this and they desire that. And uh, when you give them a place to, to go and, and sit and think about some of these things, it usually turns out pretty good. So if there's another coach out there that's listening and he wants to get a uh, huddle going in his school, how does he go about doing that? Well, I mean, you know, obviously, you know, any of those guys out there that want to contact me, I can I can definitely share, you know, my ideas about them. But I think, you know, the FCA has is, is obviously got a lot of support all the way up, uh, you know, into the uh, American Football Coaches Association. You know, and I, I think that, uh, you know, if you're interested in, in that kind of, you know, thing, I think there's a lot of different places where you can go and seek some advice about how to get it started. That is a great friend of DFWFCA, Colleyville Heritage football coach, Joe Willis, thank you, Coach, for all the important work you are doing in the kingdom of Christ. It is time now for the DFWFCA 50th Anniversary Classic Moment. Now, there have been a lot of great Dallas Cowboys over the years. Think about it. Landry, Staubach, Aikman, Wright, Smith, Irvin, Randy White, Cliff Harris, Brunig, just to name a few. But only one of those men was given the moniker of Mr. Cowboy. That, of course, would be Bob Lilly. And the great Bob Lilly provides us with our DFWFCA 50th Anniversary Classic moment this week, telling us how he came to know Jesus as his Lord and Savior. We went to the Baptist Church in Throckmorton. I was about eight years old, and I was in the Royal Ambassadors. We had a lady. Once a week, we'd go somewhere, and, and she would read the Bible and talk to us about Jesus. And one day, she, she read some stories in the Bible and talked to us. At the end, she said, Do any of you feel the Holy, Holy Spirit stirring inside of you? And I said, what, what do you mean? And she said, Do you feel that you're being called to be a Christian? And I said, I, three, uh, two or three of us raised our hands. And I raised my hand, and, and I said, yes, I, I do feel called. And so it was, you know, the preacher, of course, we were pretty young. He talked to us quite a bit. And then maybe three weeks later, we were baptized in front of the uh, congregation. So from that point on, even though I'm like most people, I probably strayed here and there a little bit, especially when I went off to college and early in my career, but I never, ever lost my way with the Lord. I prayed almost daily. I read the Bible sparingly, but I read it. Then uh, I got out of football, and immediately I went into a great business that uh, that I got out of pretty quickly, but it was the beer business. I don't know if you're aware of that, but I went. I had a Coors distributorship in Waco, Texas, for about five years, and it was very lucrative. But I went with my wife Ann one night, 
to a Women Aglow uh, Valentine party. And they had a couple that were up there giving their testimony, and and it just brought back all the memories and uh, the closeness that I had had at one time with, with the Lord. Anyway, it touched my heart. I cried and cried. I, that very night, I either had a dream or had an experience with Jesus. And... Uh, but he talked to me, and, and there was no condemnation. And he just said, uh, why don't you resume your fellowship with me and follow me? And I said, okay. That is the one and only Mr. Cowboy, Bob Lilly, with this week's DFWFCA 50th anniversary classic moment. Of course, uh, we are celebrating 50 years of ministry at DFWFCA, and we want to ask you to help us commemorate this milestone by sharing your FCA story with us. You will receive a a special FCA scripture coin and be entered into a monthly drawing to receive DFWFCA 50th anniversary gear. Just go to dfwfca.org and get all the information. Coming up next, we're going to tell you who the special guests are going to be joining us here on the show next week. Two current Major League Baseball stars. We'll also tell you who will provide the 50th anniversary classic moment. He's currently an NFL star. This is DFWFCA's Faith and Sports, sponsored by the DFWFCA Business Community Luncheon at the Fort Worth Club, May the 12th, featuring Lou Holtz, Gene Stallings, and Grant Tech. Can you imagine what it would be like to listen to three legendary coaches share their faith and football stories live and in person? On May 12th, we are hosting the annual DFW Business Community Luncheon at the prestigious Fort Worth Club. Our special panel will include former Baylor football coach Grant Taft, former A&M and Alabama coach Gene Stallings, and former Notre Dame coach Lou Holtz. Hear great stories and inspiration during this time of Q&A from these three legendary coaches. For more information, visit dfwfca.org. Her goal? To shoot par. Our goal? To keep her on course. While she prepares for her shot, we prepare her for life. By helping her pursue honorable ambitions, she will stay on course. Join the Fellowship of Christian Athletes as we strive to put the heart and soul in sports by impacting the world for Jesus Christ. To learn more, contact us at fca.org. That's fca.org. I'm Chris Schneider. Thank you for joining us for DFWFCA's Faith in Sports Radio Show, sponsored by the DFWFCA Business Community Luncheon, featuring Lou Holtz, Gene Stallings, and Grant Taft at the Fort Worth Club May the 12th. Now, we would love to connect with you as well. You can find us on Facebook at DFWFCA and on Twitter at FCA DFW. Our thanks to our special guest today, Allen American star hockey player Gary Steffes and cowboy great Bob Lilly. I'm Chris Schneider, the sports and spirit speaker. You can find me at RadioactiveSpeaking.com. Godly messages with stories from the greatest coaches and athletes of all time. Find me, the sports and spirit speaker, at RadioactiveSpeaking.com. The Major League Baseball season is well underway, as you know. We will hear from a couple of the biggest baseball stars in the world on our show next week. Cardinal slugger Matt Holliday and Dodger pitcher Clayton Kershaw. San Diego Charger Danny Woodhead will provide us with a classic moment next week. Guests scheduled to join us in future weeks include Grant Taft, Lou Holtz, Tom Osborne, Roger Staubach, Dan Reeves, Ben Zobrist, Adrian Gonzalez, and many others. FCA's Faith in Sports is an outreach of DFW Fellowship of Christian Athletes, hosted and produced by me, Chris Schneider. Executive producer is Rick Bowles. For information on DFW FCA, contact Rick at rbowles, B-O-W-L-E-S, rbowles at fca.org. And remember this week to do all that you do unto the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. From the DFW Fellowship of Christian Athletes, Faith in Sports.